Well, um, before I even get into this, man, I figured out what's wrong. I figured out exactly what fucking happened. But I'll tell y'all what, how it started. <laughs> I'm going to pick up a little PW50. It's an hour drive. I'm 15 minutes away from the place. I had to get off of one expressway onto the other. So we're doing about 45, 50. And I never get on my car in overdrive. Never. Like, and not. Anyone that's been in my car, they'll tell you, anytime I get on my car, I'll always take it out, put it in fucking third in the drive, and then I get around and play with it. Well, I get on the, off the, um, get onto the on-ramp, get onto the second expressway, I pull it out of um, overdrive, get on it, I go to put it back into overdrive, and I have nothing, nothing. So I'm like, well, 15 minutes away, you know, something probably happened with the servo or whatever is what I'm thinking. So I get to the dude's house and everything and get the bike on my way back home, you know, I could hear the pump starting to whine. So I'm like, well, what the fuck now? I get almost all the way home, like, second gear started slipping pretty good. You know, I, again, I'm not sure what the fuck is going on, it just happened, so I get the car home and, I mean, I can smell the freaking transfer that is fucking burning right so fast forward to today so last night I pulled the valve body out right get the valve body out I'm thinking I'm like man something in the valve body is probably fucking plugged up like for it to instantly happen like that and my train I mean this trans has been together for a year I built it myself in the garage and it was flawless 100% flawless up until I Went to put it back in the um, overdrive. So I, I'm thinking a valve body, something's plugged in there. I mean, everything moves good. My TV valve, I got, and I got to pull all the valves out and clean them, which I'm good with. But I started looking at the filter. I'm like, man, I'm like, I don't remember the filter looking like that. Like it had, like it has like a tiny bit right there. It almost looks like it pulled itself away. So I'm sitting there looking. I'm gonna turn it over and I look on the inside. And look at this shit. That's what fucking happened, man. It plugged. It pulled the filter, like whatever the material it is, and it, and it plugged up my fucking. Like that's where all my, all it pulls from like the fluid it goes through here and through here so it sucks through so it pulled that fucking thing right up in there now look at the new one <laughs> it's fucking brand new one look at that that's what happened man i didn't fuck my trans up i'm sitting here i'm like man you know like it was just odd for it to happen the way it did you know usually you know, i mean Overdrive is not going to go out unless you're a dick and you're getting out and in overdrive, which I've never fucking done. You know, I'd wrap this bitch out to like fucking seven green and third and let off of it and shift into overdrive. That's the only thing I've ever done with it. You know, I'm not that much of a dummy with an auto. But yeah, that's what fucking my shit up, man. It sucks, but it is what it is, man. <sighs> we'll put this filter in here. I bet you I get overdrive. I bet anybody, any amount of money, I bet 500 bucks. I put this bitch back together. It'll drive good. It might slip in a second a little bit, but I bet you any amount of money I got overdrive. As long as it ain't fuck my pump up, which I'm pretty sure of my pump seals are fucking fuck. Well, maybe it's not. Because the pump was whining, and that would be from it not getting fluid. So everything could still be fine, but I'm going to rebuild it anyways this winter. Like, no questions, man. After as bad as it slipped on me when I got almost all the way home in a second, like, I mean, I went to hit the gas, and it went right to fucking, like, 7,500. Like, just like that. <laughs> but then again, the trans was super fucking hot. So, but we'll see. It's gonna rebuild either way.